Money makes the world go around. It moves things, shapes the economy, and influences how people live. But what about the people at the bottom of the food chain? What about the working class? What does money mean to individuals who are not meant to be absorbed by the South African economy? When I was in my teens, my mother came back from work with a blue piggy bank named Dolora. She had gotten this piggy bank from a work function and decided that this was the way she was going to teach me how to save and be responsible. This is the story of Laura. So I started to save every coin, whether it was coins I picked up on the side of the corner, the ones I'd borrowed from my mother's purse, or the one rands and two rands my relatives and drunk uncles would give me. I had the goals of making a fortune. My father's famous words were, You have to treat money like an investment. Put it away and do not use it. It will have more value in the end. You have to nurture investments. Grow them, Danam. Uzobona mvozo. You wait for your investment to grow. Long term investment. And so the clock ticks and talks while prices go up and recession hits. But you are financially safe, a smart black child. And after all that waiting, Laura's produce was disappointing. I could never save enough. I always spent it on something somewhere. Whether it was my cousin stealing from Laura, or my mother asking for Laura's produce to buy bread of beef stock, or my aunt lending money to go to work, and most importantly, my family, and to a large extent my community, just did not get the importance of saving. So one day I just stopped. I stopped using Laura. Today I can call it a radical economic transformation. Maybe it was in the name, realizing that Laura wasn't meant to be mine, and I wasn't meant to be a Laura. I was the sequel. Maybe it is all in the name. <laughs>